Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial. This one's uh, in response to a few questions I have about very basic CBA modules in the Armour 3 Eden Editor. So I'm going to go through those very quickly. So firstly, if you need to use or you would like to use the CBA modules, you need to go up to in the Editor, Systems, and just to CBA Modules, and you have Attack, Defend, and Patrol. So what I've done here is I've got a playable unit as always. I've set up, firstly, uh, I've used a CBA attack module and to use one of those, you can just click on it in the editor and then just select it. So the attack module will get those guys to, uh, or the enemy or the AI, whichever AI you're using to attack uh, based on the module position or a marker. So you can, select in here module position and they will attack this area here because that's where the module is positioned alternatively you can select a marker and give the marker a name so if we have a look in the 2d view you'll see that i have here a marker which i've given the variable name of assault one and in the attack module I have attack location type as marker and attack position assault one and a search radius which is the uh, radius that they will search once they reach that marker location to find something to attack now because i don't want them to attack immediately off that module i've placed a trigger in the trigger i have just made it activation type any player present and I have synced the trigger to the attack module. So the attack module won't activate and these AI won't move until I am in this trigger. So that's the attack module all set up and ready to go. Likewise here, I have another CBA module, which is the defend module. And I've just placed that down and again i've selected defend position type as marker and the marker name as defend one defend radius building size threshold so the smaller the number the more buildings will be available and the chance of patrol so that's the chance that units will patrol instead of garrison inside a building and the hold chance the chance for each unit to hold their garrison in combat so basically it's just a basic module to get these guys to defend so I've also synced that to the trigger and I have placed a defend marker in this compound here, which is named defend one. Okay. And in the module, I have the marker position or the defend type, defend position type marker and defend one. So those guys will defend. Likewise, I have placed another CBA module up here, which is the patrol module. And you can get that from the editor up here as well, just in modules, systems modules and patrol. Okay. And if you open up the patrol module, um, I've placed this, I've just left this as module position. Patrol radius is 50 meters. Patrol waypoint count is six and each of the waypoint types is, is move, or you can set that to seek and destroy or loiter. loiter. I've just set it to move. Behavior safe, which means they won't be in combat mode, but if they see enemy, they will react. I've set the combat mode as open fire, speed mode limited, and formation diamond. Okay, you can select whichever formation suits you best. So in, uh, the mission, I'll show you how all that works. This is the most basic uh, stuff you can find for using modules that are already built into the game. So in the mission, here's my playable unit. And you'll notice that I haven't activated the trigger I've placed yet. So these guys here who are set to attack have not moved. And these guys here who are set to defend likewise have not moved because that trigger has not been activated. So that trigger is synced to the modules and not activated. However, I didn't set the trigger to these guys 
who are set to patrol. So they'll sort of meander around and they'll eventually get back to or into the area where I've placed the module, which is around here. So they'll patrol that module. So what I'll do now is I'll activate the trigger by running into it because I know where it's placed. And you'll see these guys now are moving. And because it's an attack module, they will tactically move. They won't just run up there. They will move, they will go prone, they will start giving each other directions. And they'll slowly move up in an assault type um, maneuver to the area where the attack marker is placed, which is roughly here. You'll see also that the guys here for the defense module have already moved and they have garrisoned inside a building. Three of them have. And there's one more. And this guy looks like he's going to patrol. So remember we set a patrol chance of 0 0.1. So this guy will patrol. And you can see these guys are now attacking the module position. They've seen me, so they're getting upset and they're starting to assault my position. I've also had a few questions um, about using the support modules that are based in the Eden editor, which are just the vanilla armor three ones. Some people say they're having difficulties uh, getting them to work. So I'm going to quickly go over that as well. So if you want to use the support modules, again, you go into systems down to supports and at the bottom you have support requester. So we need to place that one down. Okay, that's very important. Without that, the support system is not going to work. Now we want to right click, connect and sync to the player that we want to have access to the supports. Now if you have more than one player, and you want to have the second player have access to supports, you need to sync to that player as well, okay? Uh, and you can do that for as many players as you like, but I'm just going to use myself for this demonstration. So we have the support requester module, which is quite, quite important. The supports will not work without it, okay? Secondly, I'm going to use a virtual artillery, and then I'm going to use a... Uh, virtual attack helicopter and I'm going to use a virtual transport drop so we have artillery attack helicopter and a uh, that's a transport actually and we'll have a CAS heli as well so I'm going to sync all of these right click sync to not the player, but the support requester module. Okay. So back in the mission and the supports are set up. So I'm going to press backspace zero, then eight. And I'm going to get an artillery strike over there. It's thing and ask me what sort of artillery I want to have fire the mission. So I'm going to select a Mark six mortar. Uh, let's go with HE mortar shells and we'll say four rounds. So what you'll see now is that a guy on a Mark VI mortar has spawned in. He'll now fire the rounds. And once the rounds are fired, he disappears. Okay, he won't stay there. You won't be able to see him. That's how the virtual stuff works. And there's your rounds crashing into the ground. What I'll do now is I'll request a... Uh, CAS attack helicopter to go and have a look in that direction and again you can select which chopper you want to use I'm going to select a Pawnee and there it is spawned up above where the module's been placed it won't spawn on the ground and take off and do all that sort of stuff it'll just spawn in it'll then track the area search the area track targets and engage targets when there's no further targets in the area, uh, it'll despawn, it'll disappear. Now we'll have a look at the transport and I'll select here, helicopter transport. And I'll say, let's use an M9 Hummingbird. And again, it's spawned in the air above where the module's been placed in the editor on the ground. Let's 
just speed things up a little bit because they are AI pilots. And I'm going to get on board. And then I'm going to transmit the position I want it to go to, let's say here. Just need to click on the map or middle mouse button. And now these guys will take me to that location. And again, we'll speed it up. Because they're AI pilots and they like to linger in the air for far too long to ensure that there's plenty of exposure of the aircraft and the occupants to enemy fire. So then I get out. And they take off and they will fly back to the module position area and they will despawn. There you go, they've despawned. So that's how your uh, virtual modules work. Now if you wanted to use specific vehicles or artillery for your modules and you didn't want them to be virtual, then what you can do is instead of using the virtual modules, use the just helicopter attack modules. So then you need to place the module, make sure it's synced to the support requester and then you sync to it whatever vehicle you want to use. So here I've got a transport, CAS chopper, and a guy on a mortar. And you'll see that these are all support provider artillery. It's not using the virtual one. So now you can see, because I haven't used the virtual modules, I've, I've actually used just the normal modules. It's you can now see the objects that I've placed. So there's the mortar and the transport chopper and the cast chopper. So firstly, let's request an artillery strike over there somewhere. And you'll see I've only got one option here, which is the Mark VI mortar. Mortar shells two. And there you go. He's now firing, and you'll see that he hasn't disappeared like he would if it was a virtual module. Now, uh, what's happened is the enemy has attacked that chopper, and now this one is going to panic and fly away. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what you get. Unless you set the crew to careless, which you can do, and then they won't care what's going on around them. But you get the basic idea that if you go to supports, you've got the helicopter transport, uh, which will try to get to come back. And if you use the CAS chopper and gave them a position on the map, they would also do it. Um, the chopper will eventually maybe fly back, but there we go. Because it's under enemy fire, it's going to be difficult to get them to land and do anything. Because they're under fire. And that did not end all that well for the crew. They got shot down. So to prevent them from becoming skiddy when they see the enemy, you can go to this unit marker above this uh, aircraft and its crew and go down to behavior and set it as careless. Uh, and now they won't care at all that there's uh, enemy around. And they'll just do what you ask them to do. Um, of course, if you, I'll set this guy as careless as well. Um, of course, if you wanted these supports to be in place regardless of what happens, uh, you can also uh, right click and go to the attributes. And if you're using Eden Enhanced, and if you're not, you should set special states and Make sure enable damage is not ticked, which means this chopper is now indestructible and can't be knocked out of the air. Uh, and that is pretty much it. If there's any other questions on CBA modules, um, I don't know what they would be because that's as basic as it gets. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for over 4,000 subs. Um, please be kind to yourself and each other. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.